as you can tell, today's video is not a let's play, but rather a commentary sort of video. I realized that exclusively uploading let's plays can get old, so we're shaking things up a little with a video similar to my crazy shiny encounter story time and my sword and shield discussion video, which did very well, thank you so much. <laughs> Today's video is a top 10 about what I think are the best additional features in main series Pokemon titles so far. Before we get started, make sure that if you're subscribed that you've hit the notification bell. I don't have a set schedule for live streams, so the best way to know when I'm streaming is by making sure that you have all notifications on for my channel. Also, if you guys would like to see my face, yes, my actual face, in live streams and let's plays, feel free to check out my Patreon. The link will be down below. Now let's get started! Number 10. Poffin making in diamond, pearl, and platinum. I know, poffin making is a very, very small feature, but I found it very entertaining. This feature in diamond, pearl, and platinum is how you make poffins to improve your Pokemon's performance in Pokemon contests. It's a simple touchscreen minigame where you have to mix the batter clockwise or counterclockwise. The better you do, the better your poffin turns out. And you can get even better poffins by cooking with friends through local wireless. It's at the bottom of my list because although it's a very minor part of the game, it was rather fun for me. Number 9. PR videos in Pokemon X and Y. When X and Y first came out, all I could find about it on Instagram were either shiny encounters or people's PR videos. These 10 second long videos were customizable by the player and could feature you or your Pokemon in them. So I went and dug out my Pokemon X just so that I could show you guys all these PR videos that I made. Obviously there's only three because that's how the game works, you can only keep three. But the third one is a favorite, so that's interesting. I haven't played this game since 2014, so it's gonna be fun and I'll let you guys see those lovely masterpieces. So apparently that's my kind of humor, and that's my favorite video. According to me, like, five years ago. Here's the first one. If you can't tell, I made the nickname of my combi, not the bees, for the sake of that video. My humor? Wonderful. I don't know why that one isn't my favorite. I'm making that my favorite right now, even though it really won't matter. Anyways, Back to what we were talking about. This feature wasn't anything crazy, and there are plenty of better features in other Pokemon games, but it was fun nonetheless. Number 8. The Photo Studio in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You might be wondering why the Photo Studio would be better than the PR videos, when one is a video and the other is a picture. This feature in the 7th generation is still used very often today, and if you like looking at Pokemon posts on Instagram, you're likely to find quite a few people posting their photo studio pictures. The photo studio was more open compared to PR videos, with tons of backgrounds and poses to choose from, and I still use this feature occasionally. This is a small feature that I would love to see return in future games so we can share some HD photos of our Pokemon and not have to screenshot at the perfect moment like what I do for photos on Let's Go Eevee. Number 7, the Wi-Fi Plaza in Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. This feature was not accessible to everyone because of the way Wi-Fi connection worked on the DS. I only got to experience this feature a couple times, but I loved it. 
The Wi-Fi Plaza was introduced in the fourth generation and was an online room where you could play mini games and just have fun. And after a certain amount of time, you're kicked out in the best way. You exit the room on a float in a little Pokemon parade. This feature wasn't really useful, just fun. But I love it with all of my heart, and I wish this would return in future games, even if it's not all that beneficial. Number 6. Musicals in Pokemon Black and White Musicals were a fun little feature in the Unova region, where you could dress up your Pokemon and have them perform in a musical. Although on the surface it looks like a simple, non-competitive dress-up game, there's actually a decent amount of strategy to it. For your Pokemon to do its best, it needs to be dressed up to impress its audience. Props are also essential to winning. Unfortunately, Pokemon that aren't bipedal or just don't have arms can't use props, so it's not easy to win with a Pokemon like Superior. This feature was a step up from the dress up feature in the fourth generation, and I really enjoyed it. Number five. Secret bases in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. The secret base feature is quite beloved in the Pokemon community, and I can definitely see why. You basically get to make your own house and buy furniture and decorations for it. It's a very cute feature that I love, and I'm glad they kept it in the Hoenn remakes. I think that it still could have been bigger and better, but it's still great enough to make it into the top 5. Number 4. Pokemon movies in black and white too. I love this feature. I didn't expect much from it at first, but the movie making process is really fun and sometimes challenging. You would fight enemies that in some cases weren't even Pokemon, and you had to do just the right thing to make the movie a success, from having to defeat the enemy in a certain amount of turns, to saying the right line when talking to another character. This feature proved not only to be fun and cool looking, but also to be a challenging feature that requires a bit of strategical thinking. Number 3. The Underground I know some people will be upset that this isn't number 1, but I just want to let you all know that the top 3 are kind of a tie for me. I really couldn't decide which one was the best. Anyways. The Underground was a feature in the Sinnoh region games and consisted of exploring tunnels underground to find treasures, setting traps for your friend to get caught in when playing together, playing Capture the Flag, and guess what? There are so many features within this feature, and the music underground is an absolute bop to boot. <laughs> if this feature doesn't return in the Sinnoh remix, I'll be very disappointed. Number 2. Pokemon Contests in Hoenn and Sinnoh Although the contests in these regions are different, I decided to put them together because it's still the same premise, but I personally prefer the Sinnoh Pokemon Contests. In Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, the Pokemon Contests consisted of three parts. The Dress Up, the Rhythm Game, and the Battle. The dress up part is all about choosing the best items for the theme of either beauty, toughness, coolness, smartness, or cuteness. Poffins are also essential in winning this round. The next part is a simple dance rhythm game where you have to copy what your opponents do, and then you get to make your own dance and hope the computers do terrible on yours. love this feature and still enjoy competing in these contests to this day. Now, as I was going through my top 10, number 1 was going to be Pokemon walking behind you in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I actually remembered I had completely forgotten a very important feature that was also in Heart Gold and Soul Silver that I think is the feature that I played the most of in any Pokemon game. And this is the Pokeathlon. In the Pokeathlon, you choose three Pokemon that will compete against other teams of Pokemon in essentially the Olympics. 
but for Pokemon. You have to choose Pokemon based on if they have good speed or jump ability, power. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can compete. Pretty much all of your Pokemon will be good in one of the Pokeathlons. The multiplayer ones are even more interesting because instead of it just being one specific theme like speed or jump, it'll be two power and speed speed and jump or you do need to use the touch screen for the entire thing because heart gold and soul silver use the touch screen the most out of probably any pokemon game in the main series let's not talk about pokemon ranger some of the games are a little finicky but overall this was the most fun feature that i've enjoyed in any pokemon game ever so that is why it's taking the top spot now, if you disagree with any of these rankings, do understand this is not the answer, what are the best things ever. This is my opinion, and if you disagree with it, that's okay. And in fact, if you want to share your disagreements in the comments, you can tell me what your top 10 are, or even just number one. If you've made it this far, comment on the video complimenting it on something completely off topic. Like, wow, this remix is so good, or how do you do a backflip like that? Of course, you can still comment what your favorite Pokemon features are, but I also want to see how many comments we can get that are completely off topic. So let the games begin. And also, thank you for watching.